Hallelujah. Glory to God. Welcome to every one of you to our Psalms, Praise and Unlimited, Unlimited, where we are all gathered together to give them praise and worship in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because he's worthy of all honor, glory, and praise. And we thank God for Hopeside for hosting us this evening as we are all over the world, basically. Uh, we have some one from Florida, sunny Florida, and uh, some people, folks from maybe India as well, from South Carolina and uh, Pakistan, possibly. So we're not just limited to Maryland anymore. We're growing, expanding. As the Lord is enlarging our territory, we will be faithful. Amen. So we're just so thankful that he has allowed us after uh, almost a year's break uh, to come together and to celebrate his goodness and mercy. Amen. He is indeed good, and He does all things good, and He sustained each one of us throughout this last year. So we're just thankful and grateful to the Lord. Amen. You know, Psalm 51, 10 says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit in me. Amen. So we are looking, and God is looking for those who will worship Him in spirit and truth. Amen. So this evening, the only objective we have to just lift up our hearts and our minds towards our Lord and our Creator, amen. Because what He did for us on the cross, amen, He gave His only Son. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever shall believe in Him and not perish but have eternal life. And so we thank God for that gift of life, gift of salvation, amen. And we are so thankful for each one of you who have been faithful and we have been connecting over the zoom and uh, youtube and uh, facebook however you are connecting we are just praying the lord will bless each one this evening tremendously because we are praying for his holy spirit only to lead and guide amen
We bless you, we praise you, Father, because you are so faithful, Lord, Father. In spite of our unfaithfulness, in spite of our weaknesses and transgressions, which are many, Lord, you have been faithful to us, Lord, and we thank you, Lord. And we love you, Lord, because you have loved us first, Father. Thank you for the love that knows no bound, Father. How high, how wide, how deep is your love for us, Father. We cannot even fathom, Father, but... We just want to bring this humble offering of worship unto you, Lord Father. May it be acceptable unto you, Lord Father. And may you receive all honor and glory, Father. Each one who is participating, Father, this evening, may you anoint every song, every word spoken, Father, for your glory, Lord. We just want to just love on you this evening, Father. And we just thank you once again for who you are, Lord. We welcome everyone who has joined, Father. Bless every person, Father. And meet every need, Lord Father. We just bring our hearts to you this evening. And we just give you all praise, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Let's give Lord a clap offering. Hallelujah. Indeed, he's worthy. Wherever you are, just make that a place of worship and altar. Amen. We'll do a few songs just to get us started. And then we have a packed schedule. We have many folks who are going to be sharing, so please uh, be ready. I'll uh, introduce each one who's uh, already committed to share, and we're so thankful because uh, this is just a, a bouquet of, uh, of worship, a bouquet of uh, offering to uh, the Lord, and we just Amen. want to take a delight in what the Lord is going to do this evening. Praise God for His great goodness and mercy. Above all power, above all Jesus, the name above all names, hallelujah, the Bible says. 
for your blood, Father, the blood that flows from the cross of Calvary, Father, for our healing, for our salvation, Father. We thank you, Lord. We cannot pay, repay, Father, anything, but all you desire is our hearts, Father, and we just bring this love offering to you, Lord, Father. May it be acceptable unto you, Father. There's a sweet aroma unto your heavenly throne, Father. We bless you. We bless all your people. All who have gathered, Father, this evening, we just give you praise, Lord, Father. May you receive every humble gift of this worship and praise, Father, unto your holy name. And may you alone be lifted up and be glorified in us. And we thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, we can uh, rejoice because, you know, in his presence, there's fullness of joy. Amen? And so we thank God for everyone who has uh, graciously uh, offered to share this evening. And we uh, want to go through this uh, list as quickly as possible uh, without taking too much time. So I'm going to announce the uh, person uh, which is... Um, K group from Virginia. I know they have a short time, so I wanted to give them an opportunity first to uh, uh, to go. So if you could get ready um, for the Peter and uh, children, however you guys want to uh, share something, I want to also introduce uh, and thank Brother Anand uh, for uh, hosting this. He is a faithful servant of the Lord. Brother Anand, please uh, make for the Lord for his ministry, Father, as, uh, as a Hope Side uh, Church and. Uh, I know he just called me and said, uh, hey, when can we start our Psalms, praise and worship? Because, you know, uh, I think God was speaking to his heart and my heart as well. I know we've been missing, I think, uh, in isolation in our homes. But, you know, that was the time of waiting Lord gave us. So uh, hopefully we're coming out even stronger, amen? amen. Uh, to great, do great exploits for the Lord this uh, new season in our lives, amen? amen? And so let us just pour out ourselves this evening. Uh, we're not here to display our gifts and talents, but we're just here to worship Him, amen? Yes, Lord. So let us just do that in spirit and truth, as the Word says. So, Brother Peter, are you ready? Brother Peter and family lives in Leesburg, Virginia. We were actually with them last evening and had a great time of worship with them. So, uh, uh, please go ahead if you're ready. Thank you. God bless you. And others, uh, I think after that we'll have... Uh, Brother Prabhakar Toda uh, joined uh, and sharing, so please be ready after that, Brother Prabhakar and family. Thank you. Or uh, Hallelujah. Khudawan uh, Yasamsi ke naam mein sabki salamti ho aur Khudawan ka shukar ho ke hum Zoom meeting ke zriya se aaj sab connect hai aur Khudawan ke naam ko jalal de rahe hain. Meri family ek geet gaayegi aur agar aapko aata hai to humare saath milke gaayiye. Khudawan aapko barkat de. Meri saath meri beti Angelina hai wife Kiran, Abraham and myself. Thank you. Hello everyone. Okay. Yehovah made Khuda band Bazirg na Tera Yehovah made Khuda band Bazirg na Tera जमीन पे सारी मेरे रब है चल चांद तेरा यहोवा मेरे खुदा
Others, uh, if you are um, not on, please uh, make sure you're muted so we don't have any disturbance. Uh, but uh, thank you once again for everyone's patience, and we'll get to each one uh, as quickly as possible. And after that, um, I think Brother Cephas uh, is uh, here as well, and Brother Sushil, and uh, we have a special guest of uh, Brother Cephas, Joshua Prabhakar, from all the way from Bangalore, I believe he might be on as well. So um, I think after that, we'll have all of them in sequence. Uh, as they're able. So please, uh, Brother Provocator, uh, please uh, go ahead before uh, Brother Sikas will uh, come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Vijay. Uh, praise God, everyone, and hallelujah. Thank you, Brother Vijay, Thank for inviting us for this event. You know, those who don't know me, my name is Prabhakar Atota. I live in Frederick, and we know Brother Vijay's family for many years. You know, there have been blessings for, you know, many of our church members and also in this area, people around this area, Frederick area, they support our church, you know, which is in Frederick, located in Frederick area. God has done wonderful things in our area through the church and also by these prayers and, uh, you know, continued support through our family also. It is always, it is always pleasure to join as a family of God and worship our Lord Jesus Christ as a Savior. You know, we worship the one who created us. Through him, we receive the free salvation. He saved us from, you know, sins and he died on the cross for our sins. He took our pain and bore our sufferings. You know, Bible says, Isaiah 53, he took our pain and bore our sufferings. Had we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. You know, he was pierced by our transgressions. He was crushed. You know, he died for our substitute. He gave us life. He shed his precious blood on the cross. It's a really, 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 you know, wonderful um, time uh, as a family of God. Join with our brothers and sisters. Worship, uh, join his worship time. 
uh, would like to sing a song with my daughters, Preeti over here, and also uh, another daughter, Anusha. Uh, again, Brother Vijay, thank you for this time, and uh, uh, we will sing this song. <laughs> Thank you, Brother Vijay, again for this time. God bless you all. Back to you, Brother. Thank you, Brother. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Anusha and Preeti. It's great to see the young youth uh, worshiping the Lord. Amen. Amen. They are the next Amen. generation, and we need to encourage them. And they are such a precious girls, and uh, we pray the Lord will continue to use them as well. And uh, Brother Prabhakar is an elder uh, lead for Tabernacle of God Church in Frederick. So if anybody is... Uh, 
uh, interested uh, to join. Uh, they uh, are currently having uh, online uh, Facebook services at 10.30 on Sundays. So that's Tabernacle of God, if anybody's interested. Uh, please feel free to join. Amen. Thank you once again. Now moving on to uh, our dear friend, Brother Cephas uh, Isaac. He is uh, here locally in uh, Ellicott City with his wife and uh, two daughters. We uh, grew up in the uh, Emmanuel's Church. In fact, back then we used to worship together, and uh, it has been a little while since we've come together uh, physically, but uh, uh, we always have a heart to worship, and he also invited a dear friend of his for 30, past 30 years, Brother Joshua Provaca. Can you hear Brother Joshua? Praise yes, brother. Yes, brother, I can hear you. It was like, it was like 3.30 a.m. in India, so, so God bless you for... Uh, your obedience, uh, your faithfulness. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you and, uh, so much for this invite. Yes, absolutely. And uh, we're looking forward because Brother Adesipas has, uh, uh, you know, really touted your gifts and talents for the Lord. So we were looking forward. Um, so I'll, I'll turn it over to Brother Cephas. Uh, Brother, could you please introduce however you want to do it, whatever uh, sequence you want to go first, or Brother Sushil also is there. Uh, he's a dear friend as well. Who loves the Lord, and so all three of you, as you want to uh, coordinate or as you want to um, present, please go ahead. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah, Joshua and uh, I have been together with a band uh, in Bangalore City. It's called Revelations, and we've been doing a lot of worship music. We've been traveling around and spreading the good news through music and. Uh, was about 10 or 12 of young men. We came together from different backgrounds, different churches. And uh, it was started in 1988 yeah. or 1888. Yeah, we started in 1888. We stuck on together for a long time at the event. Uh, had to be separated because many of them moved out of the country. So I was I could. Uh, connect with Joshua and I invite him over to sing this evening's uh, event. And he's a wonderful singer, a wonderful brother of God. And, uh, he's a beautiful worship leader. He's got a lovely voice and he's a well-known uh, singer, musician in Bangalore. And uh, he's, got, he's done many performances and led a lot of worship in Bangalore and around India. And uh, He's a sought after worship leader in Bangalore and he's married to Jesse and he's got two daughters, Julianne and Jake. And uh, I'll send it over to you. Okay, Josh, take over. Thank you, Cephas. And uh, um, thank you, dear brothers. Uh, my brothers who I've never met before, uh, what an honor to have, worship along with you. Um, I don't know whether you can hear me. Are you able to hear, hear me? Yes. Um, I've never done this before at 3.30 a.m. in the morning. Uh, this is an extremely quiet neighborhood. But uh, what an opportunity to give the Lord God praise at a time like this. I thank God for what Brother Prabhaka just now mentioned, um, that he bore our sins on the cross in our bodies. You know, what we should have borne what uh, we should have withstood before the Lord God in his righteous anger, the Lord Jesus took upon himself. And uh, he took it up so that we, you and I would be comforted by his love. The song that I intend to sing um, is a song called Jesus Knows Your Hurt. It's a very um, comforting song. This song came to us around uh, the same time that Jesus was talking about 1988 when Cephas and myself and a couple of other men who joined together had lost their dads. It's about the hardest of times when we were young men. Uh, we could have gone another way, but the spirit of the Lord kept us together in using us together to be able to comfort other people. So this song that I'll sing is entitled, Jesus Knows Your Hurt. Is that okay, Cephas? Yeah. Thank you. The pains 
So please, uh, yeah, one at a time, it works better, and uh, sound quality is best. So please, let's uh, try to do that. Okay, go ahead, Brother Sipas. Thank you. I'm back. I'm back. Brother Sipas, can you hear us? Uh, we can't hear you. Uh, you need to unmute yourself. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Can you hear me now? Can I hear you? Okay, I'm going to sing a song in Tamil, which is one of the languages in South India. And I thought since I am from South India, I thought, let me do this song, and I'm from a Tamil background, and uh, <clears throat> this is a beautiful song. It was composed by one of the pastors in Bangalore by name, uh, Reverend Ezekiel George, and uh, this song is about his prayer, his desire, his plea, that he wants to be in the presence of the Lord always, most of the time. He wants him to, he, he's praying that the Lord would that he would be close to the Lord and in his presence. And that he wants his grace to be surrounded. He wants God's grace to be around him. He says, I cannot do anything on my own, Lord. It's only by, it's only through your strength that I can. I'm weak. 
my righteousness is like filthy rags in front of you because you have called me i'm here today and i'm unable to do anything to serve you except that i'm doing it only by your grace and and it's only by your strength that i'm able to serve you serve you as a pastor that's a song and he wrote the song many years ago and uh, <clears throat> so this is one of my favorite songs and uh, i thought okay i'll do this today to encourage uh, the brothers the families around here <laughs>
Uh, Brother Joshua, we were so delighted and thankful to the uh, the beautiful song that you presented. Yeah, I, I, I was uh, really, really, really blessed. Thank you so much, and uh, thank you for staying up for us this late. If you if you would doze off and if you go to go back go to sleep during this program, uh, you know we wouldn't mind because we can understand this here so to go to bed. But thank you, hang on as, as long as you can, and uh, you know at the end if we have uh, uh, an opportunity to share some more, we would certainly love to have you. Uh, share if not this time and another time as well. Uh, so we thank you once again. Thank you very hard for your hard service. You're a you're a teacher and a musician and a worshiper. You know, and we have a similar heart. So uh, we'd love to connect more. Thank, thank, thank God you. Thank you, Mr. Shield. Are you ready? Are you there, yes, brother? Yes, brother. I know you're always ready. I don't have to ask, but go ahead, please. Thank I'm, you. I'm well, I'm like a Clint e Clint Eastwood, brother. I draw as soon as you give me chance. Amen. I didn't know what that means, but go ahead. <laughs> I, I, I watch a lot of uh, Western movies, cowboy movies, brother. You're quick, you're quick draw, McGraw. Okay, come on. Before, before, you, before you can touch your gun, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to deal with you. God bless you. <laughs> yeah. Can I, can I uh, go ahead? Yeah, please do. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just... Uh, I was just asking the Lord what uh, I should share uh, this evening with you all. And, uh, you know, what should I do? And I was literally pleading with the Lord, what should I share? And the Lord uh, pointed me to one passage in Genesis chapter 18. Uh, you know, most of you know the story about, uh, you know, uh, Abraham uh, uh, invites uh, some, he sees some strangers on a journey and uh, he sees uh, three people in the hot, uh, uh, in the noon of the day, on a very hot summer day. And he sees them and he invites them and he says, come and uh, take a break and uh, wash your feet and uh, come and uh, let me uh, put a meal before you and refresh you with something. And um, he shows hospitality to the three strangers. Uh, uh, throughout the Old Testament, New Testament, we see that uh, hospitality is recommended and encouraged for us believers. We should never forget that. Sometimes when we entertain some uh, uh, strangers and uh, when we exercise uh, hospitality, we may be visited by an angel, you know. Uh, uh, I uh, want to bring your, uh, quickly, I want to bring your attention. Uh, you know, uh, Abraham doesn't tell uh, these uh, three strangers his wife's name. I want you to, when you get a chance, just read this first few verses of Genesis chapter 18. And uh, uh, suddenly the, the one of the guys, one of the, uh, uh, one of the guests, uh, he asks a question. Uh, although Abraham didn't tell them his, his wife's name, one of the angels says, where is Sarah, your wife? He asked the question. And Abraham says, she's in the tent. Then he says, uh, um, then one of them uh, said, I will return to you about this time next year. And your wife, uh, wife will have a son. About this time next year, I will uh, return to you. I will visit you again. And by this time next year, you will have a son. Sarah was listening in the uh, listening to the conversation from the tent, and Abraham and Sarah were both very old by this time, and Sarah was uh, long past the age of having children. So she laughed silently to herself and said, "How could a worn-out woman like me enjoy such pleasure, especially when my master, my husband, is also so old?" Then the Lord said to Abraham, why did Sarah laugh? Why did, why did she say, can an old man, a woman like me have a baby? Then I want you to notice this verse, that is verse 14. It says, is anything too hard for the Lord? The angel is asking, the Lord is asking, is anything too hard for the Lord? Today I want to ask you all, is anything too hard uh, for you? Like uh, 
uh, we may be, uh, you and I may be going through uh, some difficult situation. How do you respond to that? Like if we have faith and if we believe, we will see a miracle. If we don't have faith and if we don't believe, then we will not see a miracle. Okay? So I just want to, uh, I don't know what uh, difficult situation, what problem uh, any of you are having, I don't know. But the Lord wants me to tell you that there is nothing too hard for the Lord. There's nothing, absolutely nothing. The devil may tell you that there is something too hard or the, you know, all kind of lies. He may tell you, don't believe that. Is anything too hard for the Lord? No, nothing is too hard for the Lord. So I just want to uh, sing a song, a very simple song. I'll sing it once. And uh, I, want, uh, I want to encourage you all and uh, we will sing it a second time and all of you can sing with me. It's a very simple song, just two verses, okay? Is anything too hard for the Lord? Is anything too hard for the Lord? Is anything too hard? Is anything too hard? Is anything too hard for the Lord? No, nothing is too hard for the Lord. No, nothing is too hard for the Lord. No, nothing is too hard. No, nothing is too hard. No, nothing is too hard for the Lord. So is it difficult? Is the song difficult? Thank you. Okay, let's 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 do it one more time. One more time. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Let's all sing. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Is anything too hard? Is anything too hard? Is anything too hard for the Lord? Nothing is too hard for the Lord. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. No, nothing is too hard. No, nothing is too hard. No, nothing is too hard for the Lord. So please, uh, I want you to learn this song and tell yourself, no, nothing is too hard for the Lord. I want you to tell yourself that. I want to encourage you all with that song. Amen. Thank, Thank you, Brother Sushio, for Thank starting you. this class. Thank you, Brother Sushio. Message about nothing is difficult for the Lord because He is able. Amen. Amen. We serve Amen. a faithful God. Amen. And I just remember this uh, chorus. I think it's a similar song, I believe. Nothing is difficult for thee. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Great and mighty God. Nothing, nothing, nothing is difficult for me. I believe it's something like that. And it was a good song. It reminded me of this. I didn't feel prepared to sing it. But anyways, uh, we're just enjoying the presence of the Lord. And uh, I thank you, uh, each one of you, for uh, being uh, so faithful and uh, patient. We're going to move on to uh, Brother Solomon, Wilson, and family. I think they're on uh, uh, Zoom. If you're ready, please uh, go ahead, and after that, we'll have Brother Christy, uh, who's here in our midst, uh, share a special song as well. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Today we'll be singing Good, Good Father. <laughs>
for worship and may God continue to bless you and use you and your whole family as the brother Solomon Wilson who is uh, not on screen he's usually behind the scenes um, you know the uh, ministry they lead is international praise uh, the ministry of praise and worship and they serve in the community in Pakistan and other places so we bless your ministry and we thank you for joining us and uh, God bless you and uh, please welcome brother Percy well, Christy doesn't need much introduction, but anyways, I'll uh, just say a short uh, thing for those who may not know Brother Christy, John, uh, he's uh, I mean, by profession a scientist, but uh, by evening time, he becomes a worshiper. Amen. And uh, so that's his, uh, yes, that's his super, super hero uh, identity. Uh, so please worship, uh, you know, welcome him. And, uh, you know, he, uh, I guess he's going to try to ask his mom as well. Uh, Auntie is a blessing. Uh, she is, uh, uh, loves the Lord as well. And we, we thank God for uh, this ministry as well. So this is a rather new song. And most of you probably have not heard of it. And uh, I'm a YouTube junkie, and I've made mom a YouTube junkie of worship songs. So since mom has been living with me for the last three weeks or so, uh, we have YouTube Christian songs going 24-7 at home, even though I'm working. And, uh, but it's, it's really good. And this song that we just learned recently, uh, I think it came out last year. Uh, we just recorded this song yesterday on YouTube, mom and I. Last night, actually playing on the keyboard. Uh, so uh, the name of the song is Ashariya Tere. Uh, and uh, for those of us who do not understand um, uh, Hindi, uh, it talks about the, uh, the miracles that God has done in our lives. Amen. How can we sing His praises? Uh, because there's so many that there are no words to describe. And even if we were to write in a piece of paper, there won't be enough paper in the world that we can write his praises. So beautiful song, and uh, we love it. So mom, let's get ready.
I must say that even though she has early dementia, maybe mistake dementia, yet she is able to memorize the song because she loves worshiping the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Brother Christy. And God bless you. Uh, at this time, we're going to have a video presentation by Brother Daniel Prabhakar, who is. Um, I think as he's on the Zoom call. If you want to introduce his brother, Daniel, feel free. Um, if you want to say something briefly, but uh, uh, Balan has the video queued in, and uh, we'll go ahead and just uh, enjoy the worship uh, video. And uh, after that, I believe uh, we may have Pastor Sanjeev and Vishali. I think I don't know if they're on yet, but if they are, they will uh, bring a brief message, but if not, then... Louis, uh, who's been waiting anxiously in uh, sunny Florida. Uh, we'd love to hear from him because you know, he, he has an amazing, amazing uh, heart of worship and uh, just, uh, just a spirit that I connected with personally, uh, you know, first time we ever met. So uh, I know we look forward to you coming back to this area once again soon, but uh, we would love to hear you virtually as well. Uh, go ahead, Brother Honor. Brother Prabhakar Daniel, are you there? You want to say something briefly? Brother Daniel, can you hear us? I don't think he can hear us. So go ahead. Thank you. Please enjoy this uh, worship video. He's uh, Brother Daniel and uh, son uh, Sasram. So they spend a lot of time putting these together. So uh, please enjoy. God bless you.
Madrid. Beautiful uh, song that we always love to do with Brother Daniel and Sahas together. I know uh, we can't be together today. Brother Daniel, we can see you. And God bless you for your humbleness, your faithfulness, and uh, your service to the Lord. We were blessed by that video. Thank you for reminding us that indeed uh, he is our creator. Amen. God bless you. The sister as well. Um, I believe uh, Brother Sanjeev is on now. Are you there, Brother Sanjeev? Yes. Oh, wonderful. So Pastor Sanjeev and uh, his wife, Pastor Sally, uh, and uh, of course our dear uh, friends, uh, Brother Harish and Sister Sanali, and the kids, uh, they're all, uh, they, they live in uh, South Carolina, and we, we visited them just about a year ago, last March, we were with you, brother. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Uh, time has just flown by, and uh, um, we're just thankful to the Lord that he's even allowing us to gather together, to glorify him, to give him all praise. Amen. So we're delighted that you could join us. And uh, please go ahead and uh, share with us whatever the Lord has put on your heart briefly. And I, I really appreciate uh, your family. We love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I don't know how to turn on this video. It uh, says the video is stopped. A video stop. Maybe you might have to dial in again. I'm not sure. Do you see the video button at the bottom? Do you see a video button on the bottom? Uh, maybe uh, to, uh... No, it's only like done done speaking. Oh, uh, let me lo log out and log back in again. Yeah, if please I just log back. Uh, we can uh, go ahead and uh, uh, we can have Brother uh, Paul Lewis, who's been waiting patiently, and he's I know he's always ready. I don't have to ask him. <laughs> He's a wonderful musician, worshiper, uh, and, uh, and a great, uh, you know, spirit. What a joyous spirit it is. I know, uh, can you hear us, Brother Paul? Are you there? You're talking, but we can't hear you. Are you there, Brother Paul? Yes, yes, you, Brother Paul. <laughs> waiting for me. Hello. Hey, everybody. Hello. You, you caught me by surprise. Yeah. I have my fan. Time, you know, we got to be ready. Amen? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. I've been ready. No, my family's here with me. Thank you. Thank you, Brother yeah, Vijay. Thank you. What a wonderful music gift. Uh, God has gifted you a gift of music before. But uh, beyond that, you're, you have a gift of uh, and a heart of worship. Oh, thank you. So just, thank you. We're just delighted that you can join us. Uh, we'd love to have you here in physical, uh, relatively soon, pretty soon, I hope. Yes, uh, amen. So you're in Florida. You've taken the time out. I know you're visiting the family. I saw some uh, kids running around. So yeah. Want to join you. Right, too. right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hornam area. Hi, how are you? <laughs> how are you doing, yes, you really? so go ahead. You got uh, okay. to uh, go ahead and just uh, you know, bless Thank us. You. Thank you. God bless Thank you. you. Well, I, I enjoyed a song earlier by Brother Sushio when he was talking about Abraham and the three angels visiting Abraham and how Sarah did not believe that uh, a miracle could occur. And this feeds right into the song I'm about to play for you called God Can, because we all know that God can, right? Amen. Here we go. Amen. Here we go.
heavens Oh, stop soon And those who lead men near to love Oh, like a star Thank you. God bless. Thank you, Brother VJ. <laughs> Appreciate it. I don't know how you're going to come down from that mountaintop, but uh, thank you, Brother. God bless you. Uh, you are always, uh, you know, I just uh, like 100,000 percent energy. So, and you are, you are gifted. Is that one of your songs? Was that one of your songs? The ones you wrote? Okay. Yes, yes, it was. Okay, if, God. Thank you. Thank you. Glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> person. God bless you. Enjoy the time with your family. Thank you for taking the time out to join us. Um, at this time, we would just like to appeal uh, to everyone uh, before Brother Sanjeev uh, starts. Um, I think Brother uh, um, Anand is going to uh, put up the information for uh, it is already up uh, for offering uh, to the church, the Hope Side Church. If anybody has led uh, by the Spirit to uh, contribute towards the good cause of, uh, of spreading the gospel in the community. And uh, so please go to hopesite.org website, as you probably see on your screen, uh, to do that if you, if Lord moves you. And uh, we just love to uh, thank you once again for your time, your time, your offerings, uh, whatever Lord uh, puts on your heart. We really appreciate it because it is the Lord's work we're all supporting and we, we bless Hope signing this effort. God bless you. Uh, without a further delay, I'd like to um, request Brother Sanjeev Paul, who is uh, a dear, dear uh, friend of ours, Pastor Sanjeev Paul, and uh, Pastor Vishali also, I guess, is probably on, along your, uh, by your side. I don't think you guys leave uh, anywhere uh, alone. Um, you're always together. Praise God for uh, your ministry as a couple uh, to, to everyone, and uh, we thank God for both of you. Please go ahead. Thank you. Welcome. We can't hear you. We can see you, but we can't hear you. So maybe you need to unmute or something. Can you speak now? How about how about this now? I think we got it. Beautiful for you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for everybody. We love you guys. Thank you. Um, there are so many faces I do not know, but. I know one thing is common in us, that love of Jesus is pouring out in everybody's heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You know, this is the beauty of the body of Christ that uh, we may not know each other, but we are connected by that same spirit of God inside of us. And what a wonderful uh, music that Brother Prabhakar played. Awesome. Wonderful. And this, uh, the, the, the brother also, the other brother also uh, sang an awesome, powerful, Lewis. enthusiastic song. Yes, yes. Paul Lewis, yes. He's, he bears your name. Yes, he was, he was awesome. So, hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, brother. You Thank guys, you. Uh, you need to come over, brother Nathan, and visit us one more time so we can have live telecast from here and have everybody one more time uh, get in together. Thank you, Brother Paul. It was very, very Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Filled, <laughs> joyous. Amen. And you know what? That song goes right in with the message I have today from the Spirit of the Living God. <clears throat> Uh, today, my the topic of my message, you know, I'm going to share not just not too long, very briefly. It's found in John, the 16th chapter, 33, sorry, 32nd, 32nd and 33rd verse. Basically, it's the 33rd verse, which is the main verse. And Bible says Jesus is talking to his disciple and he's saying that be of good cheer, be of good cheer. For I have overcome the world. You know, and he also said right before that, he said that I give you my peace. Today, you know, if we need anything else, we need the peace in our hearts. There's so much, so much so going on all around the world that we don't know what's going on. 
and and everybody's scared. Everybody's uh, like uh, in dilemma. What's going on? They are unsecured. We do not have assurance. Everybody's um, is in 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 awe. What's going on in their life? Everybody's worried. Everybody's talking. Every time you turn on the news, it's nothing else. There is no peace. There is no news of peace. It's all about uncomfort, discomfort, unrest, violence, whatever is going on, trouble, troublemaker, everything. But we as Christians, we have a different news in the Bible. Bible says God has given us a new, different news. And that news is a good news. Hallelujah. Yeah. You know, for Christians, for believers, all those who trust in the name of the Lord, we have only one news. And that is a good news. And we have that good news in our hands. Amen. Hallelujah. And now that good news has to be in our heart. It needs to be in our I think you went on the mute again, brother. Huh? Brother Sanjeev, yeah. And mute yourself, brother Sanjeev. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Huh? Okay, so whatever we are going through, whichever direction our life is taking us to, we need to one thing be assured that we have a good news. Everything is going to be all right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Rejoice. Be of good cheer. That is what the word says. And, you know, we have to be cheerful. We have to be joyous in every situation, regardless of whatever comes in our, on our, in our way. Um, <clears throat> if we go through that verse, you know, with Jesus said that be of good cheer, because you know why? Because this world has a bad news. This world has a news, which is current news, like, you know, and all, you know, that every situation is a temporary situation. Today, after, after an hour, like, you know, we will, uh, we will get off the, of the Zoom meeting and we will carry on in our in our daily activities. We will not be, it is not going to be the same. It is going to change. So tell me, telling you this, that Jesus knows that whatever situation we are going through, it is going to change. All circumstances, situations in our lives, troubles, tribulations, problems, anything, what you name it, it is going to change. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And that is why we have a good news. You know, Bible says, that we need to be in peace. We need to have the peace of God which God has given us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus is our Lord and Savior. I know that we, this is the season of Lent and a lot of uh, many of us uh, are accustomed to doing the Lent season, 40 days fast and, and then, uh, you know, all the celebration, which is good. You know, it's, it's nice to remember uh, the Lord in these 40 days and kind of Reevaluate ourselves and uh, re cleanse ourselves and wash us our you know our thoughts our hearts and everything and then uh, prepare ourselves for the Lord and uh, commit ourselves into towards His kingdom. All that is awesome. That is good. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> if if you uh, we Jesus has said that we have He has overcome the world. And that is why we need to be of good cheer. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, uh, one thing I, I want to ask that I want to say that why is it that we need to be uh, of good cheer? Because Jesus has said <coughs> he will never leave us nor forsake us. Amen. You know, we all uh, have lived a good amount of life. If we are young, then we still have lived a good amount of life. Uh, because we have had challenges in our lives and we have come uh, across those challenges in a victorious manner. Now, G if you read uh, 27th verse of the same chapter, you know, over there, Bible says that God, Father himself has loved us. And you know why? Jesus is going to be gone uh, to be with the Father um, in, these, in this uh, setting of the story. He was he not going to be here with, with, uh, with the disciples. He will be going. Think about, imagine about this. If somebody who is dear to us, who, is, who we love very dearly, 
if he is supposed to go, if he is supposed to leave, he is supposed to uh, be gone for good. How do we feel? We feel sad and we feel dis, you know, disheartened. And that is when Jesus is saying, "Don't worry, because our Father knows you." So same thing is for us today that our Father in heaven knows us individually and you know why he will love us he will take care of us you know why because bible says that we have jesus says, jesus says because you love you have loved me <laughs> hallelujah we all love jesus and because we love jesus we have a special place in the heart of god we have a special place in god's sight you know we are special to god because we love jesus mm-hmm. we do whatever we you know like whether we are qualified or not qualified in our own understanding in our works whether we are qualified or not qualified but one thing is for sure if we love jesus god is looking out for us we are special to god we are god's people we are his chosen uh, 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 chosen children, we are chosen people, royal priesthood, holy nation. You know, whatever Bible declares, that is who we are, and God is for us. And Bible says, if God be for us, who can be against us? You know, I've heard many preachers say this: that uh, for every day, three hundred sixty-six, three hundred sixty-seven days, there is a promise in the Bible: fear not. You know. Uh, lately the Holy Spirit has put into my heart, impressed this in my heart, that we as Christians, we as believers, we as blood-bought, spirit-filled, <coughs> uh, baptized believers, we should not be afraid. We should not be afraid. We should not be scared. You know why? Because faith which we have in God does not allow us to have fear in our hearts. You know, we don't need to be afraid. We don't need to be fear fearful or scared we don't you know why because our father in heaven is looking out for us he has given us so many promises all we need to do trust in him believe in him and walk in the in the in his promises taking that promises hallelujah you know bible says that god knows us you know why because we know jesus if we know jesus if we love jesus we are special children of god Hallelujah. Uh, back in those days when they used to, you know, like during these days, uh, I know that in, in the days of Jesus, there was no Lent. But if you do the same thing like 40 days uh, prior to the sacrifice of Jesus and the last week of Jesus, that was the time where the Israelites, the Jews were asked to, to clean their houses and look for sin, look for uh, uh, um, leaven, you know, and no leaven should be found in their lives, and that leaven represents sin. So, to these days, what we do is when when this uh, forty days uh, of le- Lent comes, we try to do fasting. We get closer to God. We read the Word. We pray. We ded- dedicate ourselves, and we try to cleanse ourselves. We try to look inward. And one thing I want to tell you that today. Instead of focusing on sin, we need to focus on the love. You know, because sin has already been taken care of. God has removed, Bible says that he has removed our transgressions as far as the east is from the west. Bible has declared that we are no more sinners. We are the righteousness of God. But one thing we can always look for, whether we have the love for Jesus or not. You know what Bible says in Re- uh, Revelation, uh, Jesus has warned the church that repent and be careful. Why? Because you have lost your first love. You know, Jesus and God is more concerned about us that we do not lose our love for God. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. We need to hold on to the love of God because love is very important. And <clears throat> in these last days, if you keep reading Matthew 24, 12, it says that the love will grow cold. Love for God will grow cold. And if you read 2 Timothy 3rd um, chapter and from one verse and onwards, and uh, there you will see that people will get, uh, will you know, will lose the love of God. They will become lovers of themselves, lovers of money, lovers of other things. 
So the love will lose its focus from Jesus to other things of, of the world. So now today we all must uh, focus on the love of God. You know, because today the world does not need more righteous people. The world does not need more holy people. The world needs only one thing. He's, the world has always needed and is still needing. He's, the world is needing Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And Jesus Christ can be seen in you and in me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because God is love. If we walk in love, if we talk in love, if we act in love, if we react in love, that is when we represent Jesus. That, we, that is when we uh, show, present Jesus into this world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have the good news. We need to hold on to that good news in regard of all circumstances, situation, whatever we're going through, tough situations. Don't give up. Just remember, God loves you. You love Jesus Christ and you have a special favor in your heart. So I encourage every one of us, let's, let's stir up that love for Jesus. If we have the love for Jesus, God's love will be in our lives, in our heart. We, the world will see Jesus through us. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's, uh, I want to encourage every one of you to get back to the first love of Jesus Christ. May God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And I give it over to Brother Nathan. Thank you, Pastor Sandy. God bless you. Amen. Say hello. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good to see you as well. Hallelujah. Good to see you all. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. And uh, look forward to seeing you guys here uh, in Maryland soon. Amen. Uh, <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Indeed, it's all about love. Amen. Amen. God's world. Amen. He gave his exactly. only son, son that whosoever shall believe in him. Amen. Perish, but everlasting life. So uh, thank amen. you, Lord, for that wonderful message about love of God. Now we have uh, Pastor Yub and group uh, bringing you some exciting Punjabi Urdu uh, songs uh, for God's glory and for his worship. Please welcome Pastor Yub and the group. Thank you. I have a look at it. I'm 
Thank you so much. You know, it's such a joy when I see you all there having such a joyful time worshiping. And, you know, I feel so jealous. <laughs> you know, so anyway, it, it's so good, you know, the way you all worshiping. And uh, it's uh, especially we've been in this uh, lockdown time, but we are, I believe, you know, as Easter comes, we are coming out of the shell. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I just wanted, you know, you know, more, I, I think I'm more in the concluding time. So I just want to take some time, just, uh, not too much time, but just a little worship. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's so good not just to be together, but to be in His presence. The Word of God says in His presence there is fullness of joy. Yeah. The Word of God talks about the glory of His presence. When Moses went into the presence of God, he was filled with the glory. I just want to sing this song. Uh, Oh, the glory of his presence. Uh, so you might be Can you increase your volume a little bit? Oh, the glory of your presence. We, your temple, give you reverence. So arise to your rest and be blessed by our praise as we glory in your embrace as your 
times we, we don't know what's happening but the song says as we glory in his embrace as we worship him just picture yourself being embraced by the loving hands of Jesus the nail pierced hands of Jesus is embracing us as we worship him so arise to your rest and be blessed by our praise as we glory in your embrace as your presence now fills this place the presence of God let it fill our hearts let it fill our homes let the glory of God descend upon us let the blood of Jesus wash away our sins. Make us worthy to serve Him. Hallelujah. Thank you. Holy, 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 you Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The elders and angels by Redeemed, we worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. You know, what a privilege to have our names written in the book of life. That's why we can say we redeemed. We are the redeemed. And we are singing His praises. The word of God says, therefore the redeemed of the Lord shall return to Zion. As we are praising Him and worshipping Him. I believe the angels in heaven, the saints in heaven are all worshipping along with us. Thank you, Jesus, for this privilege. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. We worship you. Angels bow, redeemed, we worship you now. Holy, holy, holy Jesus, holy, 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 are you Lord? Us whole like you, thank you for your anointing, your father. Thank you for your presence, thank you for the amazing grace that has saved a wretch like me. We were all once lost, but we were found in you. We are found in you, Lord Jesus. Sweet the sound that 
many dangers, many toils and snares. In fact, we are the remnant that are surviving this COVID. Hallelujah. But God has been faithful. His grace has been abundant. And He has carried us through all this. And He will carry us through. So let's sing them. Through many dangers, toils and snares. We have already become oh, oh, oh. but the cross grace that brought us this far. Thank you, Lord. And grace will lead us home. Why don't we sing praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, oh we praise God, praise God, we worship you, praise God, praise God. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you. We worship you. Thank you for bringing us together to praise your holy name. We give you glory and honor, of Father. In Jesus' precious name we ask this. Amen. Amen, amen. Praise God indeed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Brother Bernard. That was so annoying to come into the worship. And, uh, we are just uh, rejoicing. Uh, we thank God and praise God for the ministry in your heart to worship. It is always a joy. Thank you so much for joining us. God bless you. Thank you once again. At this point, I'd like to invite uh, my uncle, Ronald Moses. Um, He's here in our midst, and he's going to share his favorite hymn. And I think it's all of our favorite hymn, Rugged Cross. So appropriate this time of year. Come over here. Thank you for inviting me. I think I've forgotten to sing. It's been over a year now since we thanked the God who gave us the day, you know.
indeed. May the Lord be gracious unto you and turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen. That is his promise there. A blessing. We receive it. Thank you, Brother Michelle, for leading us into the time of worship. We'll sing one last song. I think this is a familiar song to most everyone. If anybody uh, wants to join together, we want to just lift up the name of Jesus and the cross of Calvary that was for our sins, our transgressions, the Lord gave himself that we may be spared because that sin that we all carry, the wages of sin is death, the word says. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. We thank God for His Son. Hallelujah. Jo cruz el pecho de Dios, volviera más
thank you, Father, for that gift of salvation that flowed from the Calvary, and we receive it fully, Father. If it wasn't for you, Father, we would need you. Thank you for the old plan of salvation, Father, which is perfect plan, Father. We cannot add anything else to that, Father, because you said when it was over that it is finished. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for complete works on the cross. Hallelujah. We bless you. We thank you this day that you allowed us to just Praise offer ourselves, pour our Lord. hearts out unto you, Lord. Father. Lord. We just thank you, Lord, Hallelujah. for who you are, Lord. You are love, and you have loved us with unconditional love, and you love Lord. us till the end of our last breath, Father. So we just thank you, Lord, for that love, and we just bless you. And we bless all those who participated, all those who joined, Father. We thank you for their love for you, Lord. We pray that you'll continue to bless each one, Lord. Use us more for your glory, your honor this year, Lord, Father. And we bless Hopeside Church and we bless each one who gathered here this evening, Father. And may you indeed be lifted up and be glorified, Father. May you receive all glory. And we thank you and we bless you till we meet again in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you all. Thank you for joining. And we'll see you soon. God bless you. We'll do this every fall, hopefully. We'll meet again in June. Correct? Yeah. Uh, so we will share that information with you. And uh, hopefully you guys can all join us and invite others who may be blessed. Thank you once again for each one of you uh, for your faithfulness. God bless you. We love you all. Bye-bye. Bye.